So on the early version of the TTI T550, we've switched it on and we've previously had a play with this and it's on the UK band which is where we want it to be. To set the band on these, it's the AM FM button while switching on and then we can, using the up and down, change that As we wish. So stick it back on UK. There's another menu, which has got the instruction book in front of me. It says pressing the emergency calling button on the trans to turn on the transceiver. So we'll do that. That gives us beep tone on and off. The next one, in fact I should have gone through these instead of letting them go through, we'll just try again. So that's beep tone on and off. And what else have we got? TO is be timeout timer. SR is scan receive timer, which is settable from 1 to 99 seconds. SD is scan delay timer 1 to 99 seconds or off and the BL is backlight dimmer either on or off so that's all done switching it on through uh, by holding the uh, channel 9 switch at the same time so that's got some nifty extra features hidden within it So moving over to setting the VCO on this radio, the service manual says we adjust LV1 and on receive it should be between 1.8 and 2.1 volts and on transmit it should be between 1.5 and 2.5 volts. The test point, which has taken me quite some time to find, it's not that clear in the manual. Is there? It's just that bit which isn't hasn't got solder screen on and that is the test point so your positive prods there it's a floating chassis and so you need to pick up an earth a screening can I just did a check by putting the negative prod onto the outer of that can and then it was a matter of turning the radio on its side and if you need to adjust it, you'll need a trimming tool in one side and your test point on the other. So it's a bit of a faff. Obviously, this is a new set and it's spot on. So I have just checked it uh, off camera, but that is the procedure. The next thing to do, step one on setting the transmitter up it says is to make sure it's on frequency the 10.24 reference crystal is there and the trimmer capacitor for the frequency is there and that's labeled as CTX1 so going into transmit we're using channel 20 on the UK band which is 27.79125 we are only interested in the UK band we're not interested in the EU band Otherwise, we'd be setting it on either channel 1 of the UK band or channel 40 of the EU band, so that it was in the middle. So we want it to be in the middle, but we're only interested in the UK band, so we're doing it on channel 20 of that band. And I have got 27.79120, so I don't need to touch that, but it is that trimmer capacitor. 
So moving on to peaking the transmitter, and again we're using channel 20. And where have I put my little uh, trimming tool? What we're trying to do is to adjust LT1 and LT2, this is step 2 in the service manual, for the maximum power output. So we've got it connected to the test set, or if you're using individual instruments, to your RF power meter and a dummy load. Now, the service manual says something absolutely bizarre. I've not seen this ever before. Step 2. DC power supply to 15.6 volts. Now that will be so this is the maximum it ever is at any point in the vehicle. So I'm going to do just that and we're going to alter the power supply to 15.6 volts to do the next step. So going into transmit with the power supply at 15.6 volts, I'm going to adjust LT1. I've got 3.5 watts on the uh, thing at the moment. No improvement there. And then LT2. No improvement there. Next we need to adjust VR3 for 4 watts. And VR3 is the power control, which is just there. Now that will that is just done 5 watts. Now I'm going to drop the power supply down to 13.8, which is our normal test voltage, and just see what it now reads. And it's about 3.9 watts. So I can see what they're doing there. They're looking at the worst case voltage scenario. Uh, but uh, there you have it. That's what the manual says about setting the power. But we didn't have any difficulty in getting the full 4 watts out of this radio. And that makes a change. Just for those of you who live somewhere where you want to use AM or where AM is legal, the modulation adjustment for AM is the preset there. We're not interested in that, and so we'll skip that step and go straight on to the FM deviation, which is RV3. And RV3 is this one here. So getting my oscillator out, and going into transmit, we've got a very low one point five kilohertz so we'll just pop that up a fraction and just check that that's somewhere near with the whistle test <whistles> that that's spot on so we've just got that between two point two and two point five kilohertz using r v three there And that concludes the TTI T550, which is the early version. So just to recap, we've had the VCO with the test point underneath, which is hard to find. We've had the, setting the power with CT1 and CT2 to make sure the, the transmitter is tuned to maximum. With the power supply voltage at 15.6. The power control is then set for 4 watts using the preset there. The AM modulation, for those of you who want to use AM, is there. And the FM deviation is there. And we set the frequency with CTX1. So there we go. And hopefully we'll see you with the receive side of this radio.